She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad to features You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to me You see her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides Under her disguise Yeah, yeah, yeah What's up guys, back with another video, just going to do a quick installation on these side view mirrors, they are sequential LEDs, but before we start the video I just want to announce that I am doing a 1000 subscriber giveaway on my Instagram, I will be giving away 2J headers and a 2J intake, so if you guys are interested go shoot out to my Instagram. If you guys are interested in entering the giveaway, the details are on my most recent post, I wish you guys the best of luck to win, thank you guys for supporting me, I appreciate you guys, let's get right into the video. So before we start the video, I do want to shout out Corolla Hat Squad. If you guys do use a discount code, that's right here. Um, you get a discount on your hoodies. They sell shirts, posters. They sell a bunch of good stuff. They don't, don't only sell it on bronze. They sell it on white, blue, black, midnight gray, all of that. Um, I want to give them a huge shout out for hooking it up. Thank you Corolla Hat Squad for hooking it up, super fire merch. If you guys want to cop the merch, I will put a link down in the description for their Instagram. Other than that, thank you guys for watching the video. Let's get right into the installation. So this DIY is super easy. It's super uh, user friendly to do. Uh, you see the difference between the OEM turn signal and the aftermarket signal. It is a smoke tint, so it looks way better than the OEM version. Uh, this is a sequential LED, so it gives it a little bit of fanciness to it, uh, which I really like. I want to give a huge shout out to Trizzy210 on Instagram. He gave me the link for this. I was looking for these all over the internet and I could not find them until Trizzy hooked it up. Um, if you guys can please show him some love on his Instagram. He has an amazing E210. Um, he's also the owner of SoCal E210. Please go follow him, like him. Let's get right into the installation. All right, so the first step is to remove this mirror. What you gotta do is, so what you gotta do is press up and you pull from this corner right here. You're taking off is this clips right here and they go so you can have the mirror on the side like this so you don't need to worry about the mirror but what's clicking is these little clips right here in the corner right there. so next step you got to do is remove this cap um, you can use pry tools. You start prying from this corner right here with a pry tool, but I'm just gonna use my hands. You don't really need a pry tool. A pry tool will help, but you don't need it. So you see this brown part right here is where you're gonna have to pry up. So what I also did, you can grab this mirror, close it, and start prying. So you can see right here in the corner, You're just prying, you gotta be careful because you can't break it, but you just use this edge. So once you pry this open, you can start opening the edge. So the only tool I'm gonna use is just a screwdriver. And what you're trying to pop off is these little clips right here. This one, this one right there so those clips right there and that will pry open mm. 
So once you hear those snaps, you just start prying down and you make sure you pull towards you. As you can see, this part is open, but then this cart is on there still. So you got to pry this spot right here. I just gotta... So it all comes down as one piece. So you just got to be careful on pulling it because you can break something. Luckily, I did not break any of the important components. See all the clicks are still on there. I did break this one right here, but that one should be fine. All right, once you got the cap off, it's super simple. All you gotta do is just pull this. It has two little like studs that you just gotta pull it out of, just like that. And it has a connector right here. You just press it and tap it. Just like that. And you get your new piece. You can see the difference right there. You clip it in. And this little hole goes into this little stud and this hole goes to that stud right there. So you make sure that this is in here because mine came out on the other side. So this cable right here and you put it on top. like that you heard that clip and make sure this cable is around here and it's secure on there now you can put your cap back on you got to be careful because you got to match up with the holes but before you put the cap on you can put the mirror back on to put the mirror back on you got to push this one down all the way you can and you see these little hooks right here that's where you grab it onto the hooks you can look on the other side right there. So you use that as a guide. You see right there. So what you do now that you have that clip on there, you just press down on it. Make sure you don't press too hard on it because you can crack it. And you hear those clips. Make sure you got every corner. And you can tell by if it's loose, if you see that it's not wiggly, but you can go on every side. So now you're good. So all the hooks are on there and now you can put the cap back on. So what I do is uh, make sure you get this big one right here, right here in the middle. That's my guide point. And then the rest will just click on there. So I just found out to make it easier, you put this part first. So what you do is you press down on this clip and it comes out and you press down on this clip and it comes out. So I'm gonna get the first piece in. This is the lower piece. So you get, it's gonna come right here. You can match up this right here with this. And you use these two clips right here. It has two little indents inside and you'll be able to get. And also you see this hole right here. It matches up right there. So you just match it up, make sure it clicks in. And as you can see, there's a stud right there as well. Just like that. There you go, simple like that. And then you get the bigger piece and you do the same thing. And just pull it, make sure it's on there. It's on there, it's not gonna come off. So I did break one piece, but that piece is not that important. So this pretty much wraps up the video. It's a super easy DIY, anybody can do it. You don't really need any tools. You can use that one pocket screwdriver, but you can get away without using any tools at all. This is mo probably one of the most easiest DIYs I've ever done. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the content. I absolutely love this turn signal. I love the way it just tints the, the look of it. I love the way when you unlock your car, lock your car, you just see that satisfying uh, turn signal. Thank you guys for watching the video. I do have much, much more content to come. I will have a new steering wheel coming. I also have some carbon fiber paddles sent to me. I will do the videos on those. Thank you guys for watching the video. Catch you guys next time.